Hey, 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 what's going on guys? It's your boy B.Y. here with B.Y. Creations, man. And today we have another very special video for you guys, man. It's a Texas Longhorn. Texas Longhorn, baby. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah, man, so basically this is like a, you know, a six-foot painting, very large scale. I just wanted to do something different, you know. I fell in love with these um, Texas Longhorns after I... You know, drive to work in the morning, I see them on the side of the expressway, man. It's like a little farm or whatever. And I was just amazed by them, you know what I'm saying? Like the size of their horns, the size of them, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to kind of, you know, relate their size by making it a larger scale, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just doing something different. I feel like this painting was, you know what I'm saying, very, very fun, very, very informative. Uh, <clears throat> And I would see this painting like in somebody's office or, you know what I'm saying, a corporate office or, you know, a mansion maybe, you know, something like that. But, you know, of course, guys, you know, take the journey along with me, you know what I'm saying. Here we go, baby. Okay, guys, as we get started, you know, just a little fun intro right there, you know, it was cool. A little lean with it, rock with it, you know. But, uh, basically... I sketched out the, the Longhorn in the, in the landscape in the background, so I just wanted to start off by laying down some color, you know, to get the grass and, you know what I'm saying, to get basically things kind of mapped out. So this is what I'm doing here, I'm just putting color down, mostly greens for the, for the grass, also a little blue for the sky, just basically putting, filling in those basic colors. <clears throat> As you can see, it's a large, large canvas. So I whipped out my big brush for this one, just to you know, fill in those spaces, man. You know, so I can get a little feel of where I'm going with it. You know. Here guys, you can see, as I'm just basically filling in those, uh, those Longhorns color, brown color spots on this side, and I'm just basically coloring that in, as well as trying to get a little more space filled and covered on this canvas as we start out. Just the beginning of it, just the beginning. I always like to sketch out my paintings and stuff before I start so I can get a feel of it as you can see the cow coming through or the longhorn coming through a little bit better as you can start to see the structure of the body as we just move along. Here I'm adding the sky, the blue, as you can see, it's all coming together a little bit, just to get some color down, that blue is a nice touch, still a lot of white spaces to fill in as we're at the beginning of it, but 
adding that blue here. Okay guys, now I'm starting to add the black as you can see the shadows underneath the stomach and the belly of the of the cow. As I'm doing the legs as well, get those shadows darkening up a little bit of that green as you can really see the, the branches of the tree in the background as well as the fence posts coming through. Just trying to relate those shadows and those tones as best as I can because as you can see the top of the cow is a little bit lighter this is where the light is shining down so it's a little bit lighter on the top and on the bottom is where it's dark shadows form so I'm just trying to relate those images Okay, now guys, <clears throat> a little fun close up of the face. Just wanted to get a little more detail and show you guys basically um, wanted to work on one specific area at a time. But as you can see throughout the video, I just keep on you know going to different areas. But we're starting with the face right here <clears throat> specifically. Just trying to fill in those white spaces, relate any highlights and shadows and tones as much as I can just basically fill it in to completion so that I can get a little bit more contrast going on between those darks and lights shadows and highlights as you see me just basically putting in a little little highlights to the face and the neck area And here guys, as we're moving along, we got the face kind of more detailed. I'm just basically starting that tree, starting the detail of that tree, different tones of green, little paint splashes to, to represent like different shrubbery and leaves 
on the tree and the branch as I go on the side as well. Come starting off with those lighter tones, then I'm moving towards the darker greens to get that contrast, that those shadows to get more depth, 3D feel, as you can see. And I, I have fun with this with this specific area because I don't know, I just like to that 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 that, that is easy. I feel like anybody can do it, so give me a little break for a minute. Just dabbling those different greens and different tones of greens and browns and also blacks to bring out those, really, really bring out those shadows. Here I'm just basically starting to do the background where it's like a field, prairie field or whatever. I was just basically trying to imitate those lines of grass to make it feel like, you know, it's like long prairie fields of just grass, you know what I'm saying, in the background <clears throat> to give it that, that landscape feel, that more landscape feel as I'm adding the light highlights, light green highlights to the background. I just fell in love with this corner. I just wanted to take my time and kind of work my way from left to right. As you can see, I'm starting to go behind the Longhorn for the background, the mountains, clouds and things like that. Just basically tightening up that, that landscape, tightening up those shapes and forms. Now guys, I'm adding the contrast of the light sky blue in the background, just basically to relate kind of like a cloud, clear air feel, to give it a little more brightness to the background. And as you see, as I add those light blue highlights, it just brightens up the whole painting as it actually looks like it's outside, um, just trying to relay that the imagery as you can see here with the light light blue almost represent a white or a cream color And now guys, basically what I was doing to the branches in the tree, I'm just basically coloring in those, filling in those, uh, those grass planes, a little more highlights, a little more detail, so that you can see the depth, and you can see the, the dimension, the, the width, the different distances of fields, where they start and begin and end. I'm basically just kind of getting the, the, the foot area as well so that you can see those blades of grass kind of coming over the cow's foot. As you can see, the cow is kind of like cemented in the grass. So that's what I was kind of going for, just tightening that up a little bit more.
this is a, a zoomed in angle. I like this angle because you can see a little more detail as I work the, the hair on the on the cow. Also the shadows and highlights as I'm trying to add different splotches of you know fur and color that the longhorn has on it. I'm just basically trying to you know reiterate those those details, the marks and the, the different hair contrasts as well as making hair on the long horn. As you can see different dots I use to kind of bring out those highlights as you can see. Still haven't got to the horns yet but you know this like last but right now I'm just really mainly focused on the body getting everything filled in, getting everything kind of like more realistic, as realistic as I can. Okay, and here guys, we're finishing up the horns, just adding detail to the horns, just trying to make those horns pop out a little bit more, you know, uh, different highlights and shades, mostly different tones of brown, also a little black in there to get those real dark highlights, I mean shadows, but basically just filling in more detail on those horns so they can pop a little bit more, as you can see. Finishing that up now. And here guys, we're just basically tightening up all our loose ends, just trying to, you know, correct any mistakes or errors, fill in any gaps, any open spaces. We're just trying to clean up everything right now and basically just giving it an overview. Also cleaning up the, that background, making the sky a little bit more brighter, 
once we add a little bit more light blue to it, giving it a small pattern, a little, a little strip along across as it gets darker, going back into space. But we're just basically cleaning everything up, guys, and we're we're getting to the to the fun part, guys. Of so, you know, basically the signature. You know, that's the best, the final, and you know, best part, the signature. Because without the signature, how would you know who made it? How would you know who who created this piece for you? You know what I'm saying? So the signature is very, very important, guys. And you know, it's one of my favorite. I chose to go with a light green, just a little contrast for the. For the, for the green grass in the background. Just wanted to kind of do something kind of close to color. You know, didn't want to do nothing too crazy to take the focus off of the whole piece. So this little light green as you can see right here. And after that signature goes on there, it just looks so well, don't you agree, guys? With that BWC shirt, man, that B White Creation shirt, we're gonna have some merch for you guys coming soon. Give me a, give me a minute. You know we're we're busy, busy, busy. But basically, guys, this was a fun, fun project. You know, I very, I really enjoyed it. it. Took me about like four days to complete, just because I have to work and you know regular life things. But if I had all the time in the world to complete it um probably about two days a weekend maybe you know um but basically guys if you made it to the end of the video i thank you thank you thank you so much for you know your support you know tuning in with us again you know this is the final product i'm gonna have more and more and more and more videos for you guys and you know don't forget to tell your cousin tell your friend tell your baby mama tell everybody about be white be white creations man we're just trying to you know, spread the word, spread the arts, get ourselves out there a little bit more. And I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, baby. Until next time, B-White is out. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace.